fancy girl has lost all of her ligaments and she has a goo string coming down from her vulva and she's stargazing, stretching. All of these are signs of labor. They also could be signs of calcium deficiency during labor. So I will keep a close eye and make sure that it progresses and that I don't have to give her some calcium. May May, you're too young to eat comfrey. Or hey, stop it. That's straw. You don't like that. I've been giving the newly birthed mamas and the expected mama lots of comfrey leaves, and it has completely cured Daisy's congested udder, which is awesome. So her udder's nice and soft now and I didn't have to resort to anything other than comfrey. So blessed to have that in our garden this year. just broke, bubble presented and the water broke, so it is just a matter of time before we see hopefully a toes and some toes and a nose. We always like them to present with two feet and a nose first, that's the easiest birthing position. Nancy's labor had stalled, so I gave her a calcium drench, one ounce of calcium drench mixed with molasses and water, and uh, went in to feel that there was two feet sticking out right near the entrance, so, or exit. So I went ahead and grabbed a hold of them and helped her on her next push. She had made no progress for over a half an hour. So this was one of those situations where once the water has broke and there's no progress and she's not pushing good you kind of have to step in seems like she's calcium's calcium is starting to work and she's 
pushing well for the next kid so we're gonna go ahead and hopefully let that happen on its own and if she needs help we'll help her beautiful banded buckling i want that in female form from her that was my hope so let's hope she has a doling that looks just like that <laughs> beautiful boy though all right girl push out the next one that calcium working now huh calcium works really fast and it's really helpful for stalled labor good girl i see the feet coming out yep she's her muscles are working better now she's able to have good strong pushes she was having no pushes like this before i gave her the calcium all right she's gonna do this one all on her own good girl good job mama i do see some white in the belly area but it doesn't look like a full band <laughs> maybe she'll have triplets let me get the baby out of the sack there we go she's licking off her little boy the new baby does appear to be a doe um but I'm seeing something new here. Something I've never seen in a live kidding before. So it's kind of freaking me out. Okay guys, um, for those of you that are extremely sensitive um, to graphic things, you might want to skip forward. I will notate the moment where this part is over in the description of the video so that you can fast forward through it and not have to watch this but for scientific reasons and for learning and educational purposes i am going to share this on my channel on this video of what happens if a baby didn't make it to full term so what i have found is fancy has two very healthy babies but there was one that didn't make it to be any bigger than a chick so and I, in fact, I kind of thought that's what it was when I first saw it. So it was kind of weird. But then I realized what it was. So I'm going to show it to you guys in case you ever see anything like this. You'll know that you're really lucky because a lot of times when one of the fetuses passes, it often starts to rot inside of the body, causing miscarriage, which is what happened to Precious. Now, there's no real specific reason why one baby would make it and another would not. And it's really sad and it's hard but I'm hoping to share it with you so that if you ever have this situation um, you'll know what you're looking at so as you can see the regular placenta is hanging now and what we have here this grayish brown area in the center surrounded by the white tissue you can see an eye socket on what would have been the fully formed skull and here let me try to hold this different so right here is was what was left of the skeletal and there's the eye socket there and you can see some ribs right there I've never seen this before so this would have probably been the placenta that the baby would have been in and it just didn't do anything it never formed fully so it kind of felt like there might have been some debris in this one when i first felt it but i think it was just the straw underneath so we're just going to let this naturally fall out you never want to pull on placenta because you could damage mom that way so the weight of the water inside and the amniotic fluid will help pull it down and when the baby start nursing it'll help with contractions all right now for the joyous celebration of two new babies a buckling and a doling i finally got a doling from my fancy girl i'm super happy i would have liked her to be the banded one but oftentimes the boys are the fancier patterns Babies are up and nursing. Mama's doing well. Babies are doing well. 
All in all, this was a good kidding. <laughs> <laughs>